My name is Blair Gadsby. Um, I had been hunger striking in uh, 2008 out in front of John McCain's office drawing attention most especially to his role in uh, promoting the popular mechanics version of what happened on September the 11th, 2001, most especially the collapse of the buildings. Uh, Richard Gage, AIA, uh, of architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, has recently passed a milestone with his website in that 1,000 professionals, uh, engineered, uh, degreed architects and engineers have signed a petition saying that they demand a new investigation, the collapse of the towers, the three World Trade Center towers, sometimes that's forgotten. It was not just the two twin towers on September the 11th, but in fact there was a third building, so-called Building 7, that collapsed at 5.20 in the afternoon. NIST gave in 2008 a report that they claimed was their final report on the collapse of Building 7, rather coincident, coincidentally within a month of the hunger strike ending, which is the same AE 9-11 Truth and the uh, architects and engineers Richard Gage responded to that, uh, demonstrating the fact that that was not, that final report on Building 7 was not sufficient. And there's still an ongoing cover-up. Okay. This Friday, February the 19th, in San Francisco, Richard Gage and other architects and engineers will be making a, a more formal national announcement of what we're laying the groundwork here now. So the nonprofit organization, Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, announced that we now have 1,000 architects and engineers demanding a new investigation for the destruction of the three towers. After careful examination of the official explanation of these collapses, and along with the eyewitness and testimony of forensic data, omitted from the official reports, these professionals have concluded that a new independent investigation to the catastrophic events is needed. Richard Gage will be delivering a more detailed news about this uh, major development and is accompanied by 1,000 signatories. Here in Arizona, we have had the good fortune of having State Senator Arizona, uh, Karen Johnson bring this cause to the state legislature. So I want to take a moment to thank you again, Karen, for everything you did you. to bring this issue to, the, to this, the legislature of Arizona. And in addition now, we have one of the 1,000 signatories, Ralph Hughes, who is one of those 1,000, and he'd like to make a brief uh, comment. I'll pass the mic over to you. Hey, what I've got to say is so important, I've taken the time to commit it to writing, so bear with me as I, re as I read this, because it's, I worded it very carefully. But as soon as I was able to watch the, the videos of the collapse of the Twin Trade Towers and building number seven, after supposedly only the Twin Towers were hit by one plane each, my professional experience with gas turbines and jet engines and their fuels, and my personal investigation of the Oklahoma City bombing, gave me to realize that the aircraft and their fuel alone did not bring down those three buildings. Okay? Now, one other thing that I think it's, it's important, um, uh, I lived and worked about 12 years overseas, mostly in Europe, and it, it's come to my attention recently, I pay attention to what goes on over there. Eight countries, Great Britain, Canada, Denmark, France, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, and Russia, have allowed their, get this, they have allowed their publicly owned broadcasting stations to air the full spectrum of evidence that challenges the, the truth of the official FedGov account of 9-11. Hey, thanks. Thank you for mind the media and all concerned parties that this Friday, Fe uh, February the 19th, uh, Richard Gage and Architects for Engineers of 9-11 Truth will be doing a national uh, press conference bringing these issues to the attention of the public. Thank you very much for showing. If there's any questions, we'd be happy to take them. <laughs> we need you, Karen. Um, you know, I, I'm thrilled, I'm absolutely thrilled that Richard Gage, whom I have met and talked to uh, at length, as well as uh, Professor Stephen Jones, who has done so much incredible work on the uh, thermite issue regarding the Twin Towers and the collapse of Building 7, but these men have gone way beyond and above the call of duty to do what they have done to try to bring the truth of this issue to the American people, and they just get cut off at every turn by our government, which is so very, very sad. 
So I, I just applaud them that they have reached this milestone Absolutely. of a thousand. Now these are professional people that have degrees. They know what they're talking about and they're all calling for an independent investigation so that we can finally find out the truth about what happened here. Number that these, these families, these families that have suffered for years and years now, uh, with their families having been caught in that horrible, horrible collapse. They need the truth. We all need the truth. And you would think in the United States of America that we have that, but that is not so, and that's very sad. So thank you for all being here today. Appreciate it so very, very much. Yay! Yay, Karen! I have, can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah. How would you explain then the the buildings coming down at the rate of free fall uh, in the direction of maximum resistance? Same as it was done in Oklahoma City. There were bombs inside the building in strategic locations that caused it to collapse. You can see that by the um, when the, when the building started to come down, the white clouds that went out. That is that is pulverized concrete that is out there, and that only happens when when uh, explosives are in contact with concrete. Okay, the, uh, the uh, you got to understand there was no really uh, other than that. The, the, the jet fuel does not explode inside the building. It burns, and it, it burns even more slowly in, in, a, in an enclosed environment, oxygen-starved environment. If there were gasoline, yes, that would explode, but jet fuel does not explode. Is there any doubt in your mind, any doubt whatsoever, that, the, that something other than planes brought down the... the uh, no, no doubt in my mind at all. No, from day one, I, I realized that. If you had to explain one single point... One single point... It would be the, the the straight down collapse of the buildings. If it, otherwise, they would have toppled over. Okay. The, 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 I think care was taken to bring the place the, the explosives in a position where the in locations where they would cause the building to pancake rather than fall over on top of other other buildings down into Wall Street or wherever. They... So you're saying the one clear piece of evidence is they didn't come. They uh, there came are down. Other, and, other pieces of evidence. Right, but too. I mean that's the clearest piece of evidence. Yeah, they to came me, down. personally, in, in, yeah. a, in a in a straight. Uh, they didn't come down and uh, they didn't topple over to the side, is what right. you're saying? Right. Okay. Thank you. I know of no other building that has collapsed having had an airplane crash into it, either the Empire State Building or another building in, uh, there have been other buildings elsewhere in the world that have been hit by airplanes that didn't come down like that, so. No one's in charge. Pardon me? No. Uh, I was just asking who was in charge. Yeah, sure, that's me. That's you? It's really, yeah. We just had a little gathering here, wanted to get some film footage out in front of the sign. We actually were breaking it up. Okay, well, I could appreciate you guys protesting for this. It's, you're right, I have no issues with it. Oh, it really wasn't a protest, it was just more of a little film session. We oh, okay. wanted to get a little video clip of some of us talking. Okay. That was yeah, if we're leaving, then what's the leave. problem? The, the only issue was the bikes and, and being on the grass. You guys could stay on the sidewalk. But as far as everything being on the property Understood. itself, it's private property. That's yeah, we were asked to stay on the not grass. kosher. So, um, so yeah, I mean, if as long as you guys stay on the sidewalk and remove the stuff from the grass, you guys are good to go. We'll do that immediately. Okay. Thank you a lot. All right. <laughs>